Hey everyone, welcome back to Front Range Physical Education. Today we have an exciting lineup for you. Once our students reach fifth grade, they get to choose from a variety of electives and games and activities classes are popular choices. In this video, we're going to rank nine fun and engaging games that we play during our fifth and sixth grade and seventh and eighth grade games and activities classes in the first quarter. These games are designed to keep the students active, engaged, and having a blast while learning important skills. So let's jump right in and start your first quarter off right with these fantastic PE games. Before we dive into these rankings, I want to mention that you might see some familiar games from our previous videos, but this time they're adapted for different grades. See if you can spot the changes in your favorite games. In this video, we have two tier list rankings as well for each game, one for the fifth and sixth grade classes and one for the seventh and eighth grade classes. This way you get a clear idea of each game fits into the different age groups. Now let's start it, get started with our first game. Anytime that you see this watch now icon, that means that there's a video located on Front Range Physical Education that you can go find and get more details on the game. Anytime you see the coming soon, it means that there's plans for this video to come out in the 2024-25 school year. Our first game is Say My Name Rock, Paper, Scissors. This game is perfect for getting to know each other at the start of the school year. Students will face off in a rock, paper, scissor battle and the winner raises their hand. The non-winner becomes a cheerleader for the winner. It's a great icebreaker and energizer to start the year. For the fifth and sixth grade classes, this game earns a B tier rating. The students really get into the game, cheering and excitement, making it fun and energetic. However, for the seventh and eighth grade classes, it drops to a C tier rating. While still enjoyable, the older students tend to cheer a little less compared to the younger ones. Overall, Say My Name Rock, Paper, Scissors is a great way to start our PE games and activities, especially for building team spirit and having some quick competitive fun. Next up, we have Mousetrap, a thrilling tag game inspired by the popular chase tag, but without the parkour elements. In this game, students divide into two teams, and each team selects a player to participate in each round. The cat, tagger, will chase the mouse, runner, to a maze of mats set up in the gym. The cat has 20 seconds to catch the mouse to score a point for their team. Mousetrap is all about speed, agility, and strategy, making it an excitement addition to our PE games and activities. For the fifth and sixth grade class, Mousetrap earns an A tier rating. The students love the fast paced action and the challenge of navigating through the mat mazes, which keeps them highly encouraged and active. For the 7th and 8th grade class, it also earns an A-tier rating. The older students enjoy the competitive aspects and often come up with clever strategies to outmaneuver their opponents. Overall, Mousetrap is a fantastic game that promotes physical activity, quick thinking, and teamwork for both age groups. Alright, the next game is Four Corner Eliminator, a high-energy twist on the classic Four Corner tag. In this version, four teams are chasing each other instead of two. When a tag happens, that person is eliminated and set to the elimination chamber. But don't worry, there are save cards and idols that keep this game full of twists and turns. This game really tests the student's endurance to their limits, and it is always a hit. We're planning to create a dedicated video on this game before the second quarter, so stay tuned for that. For our fifth and sixth grade class, Four Corner Eliminator gets an S-tier rating. The students are always full of energy and love the fast-paced action. For our 7th and 8th grade class, it's an A-tier game. They excel in the strategy and competitive aspects, making it a favorite tier in the higher grades as well. Next up, we have Cone Flip Mixer. You might remember this game from our earlier videos. In Cone Flip Mixer, students compete in their teams to flip cones from one position to another. Hand. Logan. combining the uh, fun Raise of a cone hand, flip Logan. challenge with the excitement of a mixer game. Fifth and sixth grade class, this game receives a C-tier rating. They enjoy playing it, but the interest tends to weigh in pretty quickly. Seventh and eighth grade class, cone flip mixer unfortunately falls to a D-tier. The older students don't find it as engaging and doesn't hold their interest for long. While it may not be a favorite among the older students, it's still a great game to introduce 
some variety and keep the energy up in our classes. Double Goal Soccer is up next. It's a fast-paced and thrilling game that combines the excitement of a soccer with a unique twist. Here's how it works. Two hockey-sized goals are taped together, creating a large soccer goaling scoring area. Two gym mats are laid in front of the ground in front of the goals to create a goalie box. Four teams are chosen, a survivor-style draw out of a bag. Teams play a round-robin format with five-minute games. Fifth and sixth grade class, double goal soccer earns an A-tier game. The students love the fast pace and the challenge of scoring the goal in the larger goals. For our seventh and eighth grade class, it receives a B-tier ranking. While they enjoy the game, it doesn't quite have the same level of excitement as it does for the younger students. Double goal soccer is a fantastic way to keep students active and engaged, and it always is a hit in our PE classes. Capture the Cone is up next. Uh, this game brings the classic capture the flag to a new level of excitement. Here's how it works. It's a fast-paced, evasive game. Students try to take other teams' cones without being tagged while defending their own cone area. If a player is tagged, they report to a jail area and can only be freed by a teammate. This continues with teams strategizing to capture as many cones as possible while freeing their teammates from jail. Capture the Cone was actually voted our Game of the Year for the last school year, and it's easy to see why. For both our grades, 5th, 6th, and 7th, and 8th grade classes, Capture the Cone is an S-tier game. The students love the combination of strategy, teamwork, and agility it requires. Be sure to look out for a full video on Capture the Cone during quarter one to see all the action and strategies in play. Moving on to game seven, we have three ball, a hybrid game that combines elements of dodgeball and tag. Here's a quick refresher on how it's played. Three balls are used in the game and students try to tag each other by hitting them with the balls. Once players hit, they leave the gaming area, but they can return in a variety of different ways. This game encourages quick thinking and agility. Fifth and sixth grade classes, three ball is a solid B tier game. They enjoy the mix of dodgeball and tag, but sometimes find the rules a bit challenging to keep track of. For our 7th and 8th grade classes, however, 3-ball earns an A-tier ranking. These students love dodgeball-themed games and really get into to the competitive spirit. Whether you're looking for a game that promotes teamwork or that less, lets the students blow off some steam, 3-ball is a great choice. If you're wearing a black Game 8 on our list is Cross the Stream. If you haven't seen it before, here's a quick rundown. Cross the Stream is a dynamic and interactive game where I ask the students questions such as, if, 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 you don't have shoestrings, go. Then they run across the gym floor, try to avoid being hit by boulders, dodgeballs, thrown by their classmates. If a student is hit, they become a thrower until the next round. I love using this game to get to know more about my students also getting them moving and having fun. Fifth and sixth grade classes, Cross the Stream is a solid B tier game. It's an engaging way to learn about each, each other and it keeps everyone active. Seventh and eighth grade classes, this also earns a B tier ranking. Even though the older students might think that they're too cool at first, they end up enjoying the challenge and excitement of dodging and throwing the boulders. Cross the Stream is a fun and interactive way to start the school year off right, fostering both physical activity and social interaction. Our final game for today is Battleship. If you remember the classic board game, you'll understand the concept here. In our version of Battleship, the gym is divided into half using a volleyball net with parachutes dropped over it so nobody can see the other team's side. Students use hula hoops to create different ships and set up bowling pins in the middle of the ships. On go, teams take turns launching cannonballs, dodgeballs, over the net trying to knock down the other team's pins. Fifth and sixth grade classes, Battleship earns a B-tier ranking. The students enjoy the game, but they still developing the strategic thinking skills, which adds a layer of challenge. For our 7th and 8th grade classes, it's an A-tier game. The older students excel in the strategic elements of the game, making it an intense and exciting competition. Battleship is a fantastic way to cooperate 
uh, intercooperate both physical activity and strategic thinking into our PE classes. It's also a hit and a great way to end our first quarter games. Thanks for sticking with us through our ranking of nine fun PE games for grades fifth through eighth. Remember, once this video receives eight likes, I'll post the link for the template plan for my quarter one games and activities class. Make sure to hit that like button, share with your fellow PE teachers, and subscribe for more PE content. Stay tuned for our next series of videos as we count down the top PE songs that we played last year. Will your favorite be on the list? Thanks for tuning in.